Reptilians, welcome and welcome back to my channel. So before we even get started with anything, I wanted to say that I hope everyone is staying safe during this time. And to anyone that has gotten sick or has had family members get sick or have lost family members due to this virus, I just wanted to say that my heart goes out to you and I am sending positive thoughts and positive vibes and all of that to you and your family. This week's video is going to be one that I actually wasn't planning to do for for quite a while. This is going to be a video all about my two new tarantulas, one of which is an adult pink toe, an adult avicularia avicularia. I think it is an avicularia metallica, but that doesn't exist anymore. And now it's an avicularia avicularia type six. I don't know. I'm not a tarantula expert. And my second one is a green bottle blue sling from Jamie's tarantulas, which is doing wonderfully and is so beautiful. Really quick, this video is sponsored by the Dubia Dudes. So make sure to stay until the end of this video to find out how you could save 10% off of your entire purchase at thedubiadude.com. Let's start looking at those spiders. So to quickly talk about the first one here, this is Nex and he is named after a raid in World of Warcraft. If you guys remember, I actually had a pink toe a few months back who unfortunately passed away. This guy is an adult pink toe. He is also from Animal Tracks. Animal Tracks was amazingly supportive and wanted to make sure that I was taken care of. I cannot stress enough how amazing they are. And they they found me an adult avicularia since slings and juveniles are a lot more fragile than adults are. So thank you so much to Animal Tracks in Madison, Alabama. If you live in the area, that's your place. Anyway, if you guys remember when I got my juvenile pink toe, all the care guides that I read said that they needed high humidity and exoterra tanks and huge shout outs to Or Exotics on Instagram. Thank you so much. He helped me figure out what was was going wrong and he pushed me in the direction of Tom's Big Spiders, a wonderful source of information for tarantulas. And for a long time, people thought that you kept pink toes in high humidity and that is why that's what all the care guides say. Then it was found out that that just isn't true. They need ventilation because they actually live high in those treetops in the wild. He now is in this tank. This is actually a very cheap tank. I got off Amazon. I think it was 20 something, maybe $30. The only thing with this tank is that it came flat and there were absolutely no instructions. And it came with this like film protector thing on it that looks like cardboard. And that in some places was kind of difficult to get off. So it's kind of just a puzzle, which pieces to put where, but it actually ended up being pretty easy in the end. I had footage of me putting all this together and it it all disappeared. So that's where that went, which is also why this video is formatted a little bit differently. But this is what it looked like. It was actually supposed to be a tank that lays flat, but we made some adjustments and I converted it into a standy up tall tank because acrylic tanks are apparently really good for them. You can drill so much ventilation in there. These vents are from Jamie's tarantulas. I use two inch drill bits to drill these holes in the side to make sure that he had a lot, a lot of ventilation going on in there. Unfortunately, the actual building of the tank is where I lost a majority of my footage, but you can see that there's a lot of ventilation and the door is gonna open at the front. This tank is kind of cool because it has a convenient little area where you can throw feeders in so I don't actually have to open the door ever if I don't need to. I just throw the crickets in the little hole and he can get to them. But you can see here, this is the finished product. I did end up taking leaves out because the crickets were hiding under the leaves, but this is the finished product. There is a drainage layer, which is held in by a piece of plexiglass. I just use hot glue to plexiglass over the holes that were already there because there's not gonna be a lot of water in this tank so I'm not really worried about it leaking. The lights up here are just cheap grow lights I got off Amazon. One is pointed into this tank and one is actually bent to point into my gargoyle geckos tank. There is a Dracaena plant in this. If you guys know anything about plants you know that Dracaenas only have to be watered about once a week to thrive which works out perfectly because I can spray this tank a little bit once a week and it gives him the little bit of humidity that he needs but it's also a tall tank with lots of ventilation. There's even a humidity meter 
heater and a thermometer built in on the side of this tank, which is nice too. It took him about three months to web in the Critter Keeper that I had him in. And in this tank, he started webbing after two days. So that is amazing. Everything that I read says that pink toes start webbing when they feel comfortable. And it took him all of two days and he's still webbing every day, which is awesome. He is already eating in this tank and everything is going great with it so far. The first thing he did when I put him in there was started climbing on everything, which was so cool. So, so far I am very happy with this tank. As you guys know, I was super discouraged after Calypso passed away, but after lots of research and lots of reading, I decided to try again because sometimes things happen and I have had Nax since December. So, December, January, March. So I've had him going on five months now. He is a wonderful eater. He does not have an attitude, which is nice. We've posed him for pictures and used the paintbrush to kind of make him scoot in the direction we want him to go. And he's never thrown up a threat pose. He's never flicked hairs. He's never done anything. And he is absolutely wonderful. And on to my green bottle blue sling Midori, you know, cause green bottle and anyway. Luckily, I didn't lose my unboxing footage of the Green Bottle Blue. This is my package from jamiestarantulas.com, and he wasn't the only thing in this package. I also had those two inch vents for Nax's tank in this box, and an acrylic lock for Zaz's tank because my now toddler has learned how to open her tank, so we need to close that. But here is the vial that the baby Green Bottle Blue came in, and just for the safety of the spider, I didn't actually record me taking him out of the vial. I wanted to make sure that both of my hands were free. And yeah, I got him out and he was immediately walking all around. And that was basically it. This and the pink toe were always my two dream spiders. And now I have both of them. I am fingers crossed that this green bottle blue, everything will go okay. Slings again are a lot more fragile than adults, but the green bottle blue sling is apparently one of the most rewarding spiders to raise from a sling because their patterns and colors change so much as they get older. This guy is super active and he is a very ferocious eater. I've had him for about a month now and and he hasn't molted yet, but I think he's getting pretty close. Shout out to Tarantula Cat because I definitely found this container to set him up in at Target, which she talked about in one of her videos. And this container is awesome. So huge shout out to her. He has already webbed most of this container and it is so cool to just watch him go through and just web everything. He is already such a rewarding spider to keep because I can just watch him web everything and it's so cool. And that is it. Those are my two new tarantula, new-ish tarantulas. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed watching me do all that stuff. And as I said at the beginning of this video, this video is sponsored by the Dubia Doo. The Doo.com is such an awesome place to get feeder roaches for your animals, whether they be reptiles or tarantulas, frogs. Dubia roaches are super nutritious. They have so much protein, more protein than crickets. They are cleaner than crickets. They aren't noisy. They don't chirp. And they're honestly easier to handle than crickets too. You don't have to worry about them leaping out of your hand and escaping into your house. And again, chirping. And the Dubia Dude feeds feeds his roaches all organic and he's a small business. So you're getting super healthy, organically fed roaches and you're supporting small businesses while you feed your animals, which is so cool. Make sure to use my code L at the doobiedoo.com to save 10% off of your entire order. Thank you so much to the Doobie Dude for sponsoring this video. As always, guys, if you're not already, please feel free to follow me on my other socials and like, subscribe, and hit that bell for notifications every single time I put out a new video, which is every Sunday. Huge thank yous and shout outs to Wild2D Bone for following me on Instagram and going through and liking a whole dress stuff. Thank you so much. You are the bee's knees. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I hope you have a fantastic day. Bye. Random animal groups.
I don't need a thumbnail for this one. I don't do it. For the horde! Alright, I think that's it.